everybody I thought I would show you how I cleared out this space for my in-ground garden, my traditional garden. Uh, I'm gonna extend it till just past the edge of my barn here. I did have some blueberry bushes that were planted right here and they're not, they weren't doing very well so I'm just gonna take the garden from here extend it on out, kind of square it off and bring it back to there. So this area is probably, that looks big, uh, eight by 12 maybe. Um, that's just an estimate, I have no idea. <clears throat> but anyway, so um, I've already started over here. You can see what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do in just a few seconds, but uh, this uh, tool here, i um, not sure what it's called. Uh, my neighbor called it a Widowmaker, but uh, it's got a little hoe there on the end and a pick. And what you want to do is just barely get under the first couple of inches of dirt here and pull it back because you really want to save your topsoil as much as you can. Then I'll come back with a rake, rake all these blobs of grass up, clumps of grass. And then I'll take my little uh, cultivator over there and we will uh, turn up the topsoil a little bit. All right, so let's get to it. not in fast speed either. <laughs> it's just easy. I guess real farmers wear boots. I don't have any. I just wear tennis shoes. <laughs> Rocks. All right, I won't bore you with the rest. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I get done in about an hour. All right, meanwhile, I'm working on that. Uh, I'm gonna pull this garlic. It looks like the tops are dying just to see uh, some of these really puny. But uh, I'm gonna pull this large one to see what I got. Let's look at this thing. All right, here we go. Hey, that's not that bad. First time ever growing it. This uh, this garlic was planted back in the um, fall from just uh, a jumbo. It was labeled, labeled jumbo garlic um, at Walmart, and I planted the cloves individually, and it looks like. Got a decent size uh, little garlic bulb here. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you. All right, we're getting there. It's about, it's been about an hour. Uh, I tend to take breaks, because uh, this is pretty tough. I gotta say, a few people are paying for a gym membership. 
uh, you may be wasting your money. If you have enough, uh, a little plot of land like this, and you get out and you hand till it up, that's a workout. And then keeping it up, keeping the weeds out of it, you can go out in your garden and do something every day. Let me uh, show you what I'm doing here. to work out all right y'all it is done uh, I'm a little tired um, could I have uh, invested in a tiller yes uh, why didn't I I'm not sure other than I'm cheap and uh, it works just fine it's a lot of work and uh, tend to get some calluses but they'll go away that's exactly the way I did this whole garden now I'm gonna take my little cultivator which only gets a couple inches deep and uh, till this up a little bit I'll run through there and I'll let you see uh, what it looks like when it's done. I'll be right back. Well, it's done. Hope y'all saw the problem I was having with the rocks. Maybe I should call this my rock garden. Rocks everywhere in there. Uh, I might have to pay a little girl uh, a nickel a rock. Oh, she'd make a lot of money in this guy. She picked them out. But anyway, that's how you clear a garden by hand and then use a gas cultivator. Um, but if you didn't have a gas cultivator, 
you could come back through it with a hoe, H-O-E, and chop the stuff up really good. Uh, get down in the soil a few inches, and that's how you clear a garden by hand. And uh, I'm a little tired, but it'll be worth it. I think right here I'm going to have my Sprite melons. So stay tuned for that. I'll be starting those probably in my greenhouse first. And then uh, putting them out here when they get a decent size. And if you never heard of a Sprite melon, uh, go look it up. We'll talk about it later. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. I'm going to go uh, take a shower.